Today I'm going to show you how to set up your machine to do free motion sewing. First you want to remove your presser foot. Swap it out for a free motion foot or a darning foot. Next you need to drop your feed dogs. Normally I would have the foot already on there, however I wanted you to see these drop down. This little lever can be a little bit of a booger. There we go. Because the teeth are out of the way, your fabric will be able to freely move. Change out your needle to a top stitch or a quilting needle. Now select a straight stitch and change your stitch length to a zero or as low as your machine will allow. When possible, use a quilting table. This is going to give you a larger surface to work with, making it easier to freely move your fabric. Remove the front of your machine and slide on your table. Make a quilt sandwich similar to your project to practice on. So what's a quilt sandwich? It consists of your backing, batting, and your quilt top. This will allow you to practice and test your tension before moving on to your actual project. Now with your upper thread in your left hand, lower your needle and then bring it back up. Using a tweezers, pull up your bobbin thread and make sure both the upper and the bobbin thread are underneath the foot. Don't forget to save this for future reference and please follow us for more sewing tips.